if you are making the um, inner compression shorts for the Moxie add-on, um, this is something you would purchase separately from the pattern. Um, you can still use your discount though. Um, so if you want to make those, you're going to follow along with me here. Um, you should have all of your pieces cut out um, from our previous cutting video on the first day. Um, so I'm just going to take you through the steps of sewing these. Um, and kind of show you how that goes. If you're wanting to make the inner briefs, that will be in a separate video. So I'll post that separately so you don't have to sit through both of them. Um, but this is a really cute option. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you should have cut two gusset pieces if you are using the gusset. If you're not using the gusset, just go ahead and kind of skip over this gusset part. But if you're using the gusset, you should have two gusset pieces and you're going to place them right sides together and just baste along the edges. And I've already gone ahead and done that here. And then you're going to take your side panel pocket. And remember there was that fold line that we noticed. Um, it's one inch down. So you're gonna go ahead and fold that. You should have two of those pieces. And fold it to the wrong side and then hem along the top. Now keep in mind these are compression shorts. So if you hem this with a straight stitch, that stitch is probably gonna pop. Um, same thing for if you don't have a loose enough tension on your looper, if you're using like a cover stitch machine, your stitch is going to pop. So you want to keep the tension, you know, kind of loose, make sure you're using the appropriate differential feed of that thread that didn't want to go away there. Um, so go ahead and, and take a moment now, baste your gusset pieces together, and then um, hem the top of your side panel pocket, and then we will come back and finish that pocket piece and then get started on um, actually sewing these together. And once you've got your gusset basted together, um, take and your little pocket piece hemmed. Um, just kind of a side note about that, I find on my cover stitch machine that a wide, you can't see it, it at all on this fabric, but a wide um, two needle cover stitch is much stretchier than a narrow one. So you just wanna make sure that you have some good stretch there. Okay, now this isn't really gonna show much, so if you're worried about it, just do a zigzag on your sewing machine. Um, but you're gonna place, take the um, side panel, and remember, side panel has this kind of angle here, and you're going to line the pocket up at the bottom. So, use some clips to keep it in place, and then you're going to baste around the side and bottom edges. Basting is just a long straight stitch. So this is something that's going to be sewn over. Um, so you just wanna kinda of do it at a quarter inch within the seam allowance there. So baste along here and then repeat that same step for the other side panel and the other side pocket piece. Okay, so go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you the next step. So I've gone ahead and I've got my uh, pocket piece basted here together. Now you're going to grab your back piece and your gusset um, and you're going to take the gusset and line it up along the back piece and you're going to sew 3 h seam allowance right along here. Okay, um, at the same time you're also going to take your pocket piece and remembering that the high side is the back, you're going to put that right sides together with the back of um, your shorts. And you're going to go ahead and pin that together as well. So you're gonna be doing those two things at the same time. You're going to be sewing the side pocket onto the back of the shorts. And you're gonna have a little triangle, a little bit that might overhang, that's okay. And you're going to be sewing the gusset on. I do this with a serger, so I just serge it on and then I just kind of taper off. Um, so you're gonna do that on both sides. So you should have a, a matching back piece that you're gonna do it to the other side as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then come back and show you the next step. Okay, now you should have something that looks like this. Um, this is the side panel with the pocket. Um, one of my back pieces has the gusset that's sewn on. Um, something I didn't mention you wanna make sure to do if you had your differential feed low um, when you were serging the edge of the seam allowances of your moxie shorts, the main shorts, then you wanna make sure to bump it back up when you're using a stretch fabric. But um, I've got that sewn. Now I'm going to take one of my front pieces and place it 
right sides together with that side panel piece. So I have the back, the side pocket piece, and then this is my front. So you're going to end up with just one kind of big leg piece. So pin that on. And these shorts, like everything else, um, the rest of the pattern have a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So you're going to sew that and you're going to end up with this kind of one long piece, one big piece. So make sure you do that to both sides and then I will come back and show you what our next step is. Now you should have two big long pieces and what we're going to do is we're going to take our two big leg pieces and we're just going to place them right sides together and we're going to sew the back rise and the front rise. So I'm going to pin these together. Some people get a little bit confused about how to pin this gusset piece if you're using it. Remember it's optional. Um, I just line it up with the other back rise, clip it there, and then the seam allowance naturally seems to want to fall this way. So I just let that happen. And as you serge at 3 8 or sew at 3 8 it's going to just make sure that there's no gap there. So as long as you're kind of keeping those pretty close together, you should be okay. So I usually just stick a little clip there and then I can just serge that and then come over here to the front rise and again serge that. Um, and then we're just going to flip them and sew the um, inner leg seam. So I'm going to go over to my serger and sew the front and the back rise and then I'll come right back. We're almost done with um, sewing our compression shorts. All that's going to be left after that is um, hemming them and then just sticking them in and getting ready to put on the waistband. Okay, I've sewn the front and the back rise. You can also like double stitch it to reinforce it if you want to. I don't usually and I haven't lost a crotch seam yet. So then you're going to flip them like this. You're going to match up the point of that gusset with the center of the front seam, front crotch seam there. And then you're just going to keep on pinning your legs. If you find that you have a hard time hemming, you could press kind of a memory hem at this point. I don't usually do that. Um, this fabric press is okay and um, it shouldn't be a problem for me to hem it. So I'm just going to go now and serge this and then we can hem our shorts and get ready to put them into the outer short um, in preparation for sewing on our waistband tomorrow. Okay, so I've sewn that inner leg seam and you can see how nicely that crotch gusset comes out. You can say to your friends, my what a lovely crotch gusset you have. I've also gone ahead and I've hemmed the shorts. And like I said, I just really find that the wide cover stitch um, is just so much stretchier than the narrow one. Um, so you have your pockets on the sides, you have your shorts. I've seen a lot of people actually use these as a standalone short. You stick the waistband short on, waistband on them and um, it seems to be a really good pattern for kind of like a little hot short for working out. So um, I'm eager to try that at some point as well. But what this is ready for is our step tomorrow, which is going to be taking our main short here. We're going to stick them inside with the right side of the um, compression short add-on touching the wrong side of the moxies, outer moxie shorts. And we're going to make sure to line up those center front and center backs. And they're going to stick out below a little bit. That's kind of part of the look. You can just give your, your shorts a couple of clips um, if you want to and just get ready for tomorrow. So that's it. Um, if you were sewing the inner compression shorts, that's the video. If you're sewing the briefs, I will be doing a separate video on that. And if you don't want anything at all under your moxie shorts, um, that's okay too. And I'll be moving on to the waistband tomorrow. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. Please post your progress pictures. It's always exciting to see these come together. Um, we can encourage each other and we're kind of almost there. We're almost at the finish line. So I will see you back here tomorrow and let me know if you have any questions.